It's Metacosis Perfectionalis, another video in my comparisons playlist. Today we'll compare between cat electrotonus and an electrotonus. Why cat? Because cathode. Why an? Because of the anode. Today will be a quick review. If you want the original discussion, check out my physiology playlist. During rest or the polarized state, the inside of the membrane is more negative, but upon activation, aka reversal of polarity or depolarization, the inside of the membrane becomes more positive as sodium comes into the nerve. Forms of membrane electricity or membrane potential. During rest, it's called the resting membrane potential. Upon stimulation, well, it depends. If you treat me with respect, threshold, I'll give you an action potential. If you treat me with no respect, sub-threshold, I might give you local response or electrotonic potentials, which are divided into cat electrotonus or an electrotonus. Let's review the action potential. Resting membrane, potassium is leaving. Upon depolarization, sodium is entering. During repolarization, you stop the sodium influx and you start potassium efflux. This is the resting membrane potential. You start opening some sodium channels until you hit the threshold. That's the firing level. Boom! Look at this. Firing, baby. Making a spike. Who's responsible for this activation or depolarization? Sodium influx. Who's responsible for the repolarization? The closure of the sodium channels and opening potassium channels to cause potassium efflux. And then you overshoot. That's the hyperpolarization due to excessive potassium efflux because the potassium channels are slow at opening, slow at closing. Pause and review. What is the difference between this slow rising and the rapid uprising? Well, in the slow depolarization phase, you have opened just some of your sodium channels, but in the rapid one, you have opened all of the sodium channels. The all or none law was discussed before. What does that mean? It means that I either generate and conduct maximally or not at all. There is no sort of kind of ish. If you treat me with respect threshold, I'll give you the action potential. But if you treat me with less respect, aka sub threshold, I will treat you with less respect, aka a local response. Can I give you like half of the threshold and you give me an action potential? Oops, I cannot. Sorry, because I follow the all or none law. I either excite or no. It's either zero or one. That's it. If the stimulus is below threshold, I might give you electrotonic potential such as cat electrotonus and an electrotonus. These are not action potentials. So when you give me a sub threshold stimulus, I cannot give you an action potential, but I can give you non-propagated potential, a potential that does not propagate throughout the nerve fiber from the axon helix to the axon terminalis. And these non-propagated potentials are divided into electrotonic potentials and the local response. This electrotonic potential is subdivided into cat electrotonus and an electrotonus. Let's go back to square one. Why did we call cations cations? Because these are ions that are attracted to the cathode. The cathode is negative, that's why it attracts the positive ions. Okay? Why do we call anions anions? Because they are attracted to the anode. The anode is the positive pole, therefore it attracts the negative charges, anions. And that's why we have two types of electrotonus, cat electrotonus and an electrotonus. Where do you find cat electrotonus? Um, at the cathode. Duh! And the an electrotonus is at the anode. What happens in cat electrotonus? Partial depolarization. What the flip? Why? I'll tell you because on the outside, the cathode is negative. But on the inside, there are positive ions. That's why they are attracted to the negative, because they are positive. So you'll have tons of positive on the inside. What does positive inside the nerve do? Oh, it causes depolarization. That's right. But it's not the strong, robust depolarization of the action potential. This is small, minuscule, partial depolarization of the freaking electrotonic potential. Sub-threshold, baby. Partial depolarization, meaning that you are becoming more positive. You are moving closer to the firing level, moving up, up, and up. And therefore, the threshold is being lowered. The excitability is increasing. An electrotonus is the exact opposite. The anode is positive. It attracts the negatives. When the inside surface becomes more negative, you are hyperpolarized. You're toast. You're not active. Your excitability is decreased. Threshold is higher. That's why it's harder for you to be excited. And you're moving away from the firing level, like a doofus. 
If you love this video, you will adore my Otakoid Pharmacology course available at medicosisperfectsnanis.com. I also have a cardiac pharmacology course. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Go to Picmonic for animated medical mnemonics. Thank you for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfect Snanis, where medicine makes perfect sense.